Hello friends, today we are going to start a new topic that is the refractory. Refractory, it is a material that is resistant to decomposition by heat, pressure or chemical attack and retain strength and form at high temperature. We will see the classification of refractory. Classification based on the physical form, it is of two types that is the shaped and the unshaped. Shaped that like the bricks, its size is equivalent to 9 into 4.5 into 2.5 inches and second is unshaped that is the monolithic. These are without definite form and are only given shape upon application. Monolith means big stone. Let us see what is this brick. Brick made up of ganister rock, quartzite, that is SiO2, containing 98% silica and 2% calcium oxide as milk of lime. Another way of classification of this refractory is based on chemical composition. It is of three types that is the acidic, basic and the neutral. Let us see first the acidic refractory. It includes silica SiO2, second is fire clay that is alumino silicate Al2O3 and SiO2 and third is zirconia ZrO2. Second is basic type that is the RO group. It includes magnesite, MgO, dolomite, calcium magnesium, carbonate, magnesia, chrome, MgO and Cr2O3. And third one that is the neutral refractory. It is R2O3 group. It includes carbon graphite refractories, chromite refractories, that is the magnesia and chromia Cr2O3 and last one is alumina 50% Al2O3 alumina. These are the two way of classification. Let us see about the acidic that is the silica. Silica is having three basic structures and seven polymorphic forms. Three basic structures that is quartz, tridimite and Crystobalite. Here conversion occurs, quartz is converted to high tridimide by reconstructive at 867 degrees centigrade, and then this is converted to crystobalite at 1470 degrees centigrade. Next come to the other polymorphic forms, quartz at low, this comes at lower temperature. Quartz, when this placif occurs in the quartz at 573 degrees centigrade, it becomes quartz low. Again, it will be converted to quartz high if alpha beta transformation will occur. Next, coming to high tridimide, here displacive action occurs at 160 degrees centigrade and it becomes the middle tridimide, and again, when it go on to displacive action at 105 degrees centigrade and it will become low tridimide. Last coming to high tridimide to high crystobalite that I have already explained at 1470 degrees centigrade reconstructive. Return of high crystobalite to high tridimide this occurs when dissolves in calcium silicate and last one that is the high crystobalite to low crystobalite displacive action occurs at 200 to 270 degrees centigrade. So overall there is a three basic structure I have already explained the quartz, tridimide and crystobalite. And about the seven polymorphic forms that is first quartz, high, quartz, low, high tridimide, middle tridimide, low tridimide, five, six that is high crystobalite and seventh one that is the low crystobalite. This is the silica. One very important thing is that silica is used in uh, as a brick 
here uh, I want to show this in during the heating what is occurring. Here low firing times normally tends to favor tridimide development during firing. It means tridimide is formed at low heating in the furnace. Next the quartz initially present transform into cristobalite. the last one starting at the grain edges. This dissolves in calcium silicate liquid phase and precipitates as tridimide. During firing quartz continuously decreases, cristobalite initially increases and then later decreases the amount of tridimide continuously increases. It means at last tridimide is increasing in the furnace. In the acidic, the first one was silica I have explained, second one is fire clay. About the fire clay, this is hydrated aluminum silicate Al2Si2O5OH whole 4. This is kaolinite or it can be written as Al2O32SiO22H2O. Another thing is here is molite or porcelainite. It is a rare silicate mineral formed during contact metamorphism of clay minerals. Two stoichiometric forms are 3Al2O3, 2SiO2 or 2Al2O3, SiO2. This is fire clay. Another very important part is steel plant refractories. Here steel is made up of the iron and carbon and the stainless steel is made up of iron, carbon and plus 11 percent chromium is present. This is some more things we have to know about the refractory that is magnesia spinel, it is magnesium aluminate spinel Mg Al2O4. Next is forsterite, it is magnesia silicate Mg2SiO4 derived from olivine mineral group having iron and magnesium. This is the group from which the forsterite is formed. Next another term is PCE that is pyrometer cone equivalent test is done in the refractory. Here also there is a classification based on PCE test. This is the third classification. It includes super duty high duty, intermediate duty and low duty. Super duty is having 33 to 38 PCE, high duty that is 30 to 33 PCE and the intermediate that is a 28 to 30 and last is the low duty that is 19 to 28. Another term comes HMOR, HMOR that is hot module of rupture. It is characteristic property of refractory material. Next coming the RUL rule not RULE, this RUL only. Here it is refractory under load. <coughs> Measures of deformation behavior of refractory ceramic products exposed to a constant load and increasing temperature. Next coming the PLC is used that is programmable logic control that is related to computer, this is not related to refractory. In the refractory it is permanent linear change. It is a factor used to judge the suitability of refractory in range of temperature limits. Next, our word use spelling. Spelling is, it is a type of defect also known as the fracture of refractory which is caused by excessive thermal and or mechanical load on the refractory. Let us revise what we have. Uh, read today that is the refractory definition and about the classification of refractory. There is three way of classification that is based on the physical form, based on the chemical composition and third one that we have seen that is the PC classification based on the pyrometric cone equivalent test and other things so many things we have studied. Lastly, we have studied about the steel plant refractories also and then the spelling. Thank you.